हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रीजर भी हो गए पी लो यार नहीं भी हो गए चलो ठीक है एनी हाउ दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट फ्री टेक जी फाइव गेम्बल एंड गेट राइड इन टू मैन हो What I like about this gimbal is that it comes in this cute little pouch, and it's so handy when when you're traveling or you're you're a frequent traveler. It doesn't take up much space, and you can easily travel with it or like put it in a corner of your bag. And here we have a weight. which we will use later on this is the battery pack as the power cable battery and there are a few more cables which you can use to power your GoPro plug it in the gimbal and then attach it attach it to your GoPro to supply more power continuous power so that it doesn't die Now we gonna just need this bag right now. Here comes the gimbal. As you can see. So this gimbal is all made of carbon fiber. That's why it looks so sharp and it's splash proof, as it says on the box. And this handle here feels. has some sort of rubbery feel to it that's why it feels kind of nice when you hold it there are four buttons here first one is the power button which you can also use to change the mode the gimbal has three modes which i will tell you in the later part of the video there is the rotation button which you can use to turn the camera to its default position that is facing towards the front There's this joystick which you can use to move the camera up, down, left, right. Then there's last button which is called the trigger button which you have to double click to move the camera to its default position that is facing front again. And there's this USB port which you can use to charge the gimbal or even attach the extra cable that comes with it with the with your GoPro to supply the power to it as well. while you use the gimbal the updated version of this gimbal comes with a weight which you have to use when you're using a GoPro Hero 5 or 6 i'll show you why now the only thing i don't like about this gimbal is that when the camera slides in the power button on the GoPro Hero 5 or 6 hides So you have to remember to turn it on before you slide it in. As you can see now the camera gets tilted towards the left when we don't have the weight on. Once we put the weight on it balances out. Looks better now, doesn't it? So let's turn it on. Yep. That's the Fuji T5 gimbal. Let's go outside. So I have with me is Fuji G5 gimbal. Let's take some shots with this now. There are a lot of muscles. So as you can see. Makes up a, a really good composition. The metro line with the trees.
so this gimbal has three modes I'm gonna show you all of those when you turn it on the default mode it's it's in is the fixed focus where the camera stays in just one angle pointing to just one angle so there's this metro passing by let me take a shot of these so in this mode what I did was the camera stays fixed in just one position even if I tilt it towards there, right, up, down, whatever I do, the camera stays fixed to just one angle, right, uh, the second mode is, if you double click this mode button, it get, gets into a follow mode where the camera goes where I move it, right, I'll show you, GoPro, start recording, yeah, so in this second mode, uh, the follow mode, uh, camera goes to wherever I move it to like if I move it to left it goes to left when I move it to right it goes to right if I move it down it goes down when I move it up it goes up like that right whereas in the first mode it was the fixed focus mode where I single click it it get fixed in just one position see when I move the gimbal down now it stays in just one position you see it third the last mode is the selfie mode and you triple click it this mode button it gets into the selfie mode stay with me wherever I go yeah that's all the three modes that it has uh, I've taken some cool footage with it I'll show you right after this only just one thing that I that I've pointed out already that when you slide the camera in it, it hides these this part of the gimbal hides the power button so you can't cannot change the mode or turn it on if I've already slide it in but if you're using the GoPro Hero 5 or the latest version that is the 6 you can use the voice commands to turn off the GoPro or change the modes like I can do it GoPro start recording yeah see sun on uh, so that's that's one of the few benefits you get with the Hero 5 and Hero 6 uh, GoPro turn off okay finally uh, so that's all for this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for more videos by the way, if you ask me what I think about it, then I'll tell you there are better options available in the market. But this shot as hell is the best available for the price that it comes for. And you can really get some sick footage out of it if you use it carefully. But uh, there are two things that I don't like about it. Uh, first, that the power button or the mode button on the GoPro gets hidden when you mount it on the gimbal and second that it has some sort of weird shake by the roll axis which I'm not sure how to avoid so yeah that's what I think about it see you in the next video